Hi there. Thank you for joining me today. Hi there. Thank you for being here. So I'm really, I really appreciate y'all sharing some of your time with me. Oh, from Uruguay. Oh, that's on my list. Um, so this is going to be probably pretty short unless you have questions, but this is really important. So I'm just going to ask that you just listen to what I have to share. Um, and this has been coming through t to me for, for a little while. Um, but this morning when I did my writing, it was very clear. And so this, okay, so basically I want you to think about your nervous system, okay? And I want you to imagine that your n nervous system is like your alchemist, okay? And so whatever your nervous system is receiving is that's where the alchemy happens in our life. Okay. So there are two types of input for our nervous system. And one is our feelings and the emotion that we're experiencing. And the other is our perception. And so that's what's happening through our five senses and and what we're observing, okay? And what's more important than observing is how we're perceiving, okay? And that means what conclusions are we making based on what we're observing, okay? And so if our nervous system is our own internal alchemist, and so let me share a little bit about the nervous system. So when we experience an emotion Every cell in our body receives the exact same message in the exact same moment, and it's dispersed throughout our nervous system, that message, okay? So if the message is anger, every cell in our being in that instant experiences anger. If it is love, every cell in our body experiences that emotion within the same instant, and that is all thanks to our nervous system. Now, with our environment, right, the, we have our internal factors of our emotion that are informing the nervous system, and then we have the external factors that we're receiving through our five senses that are giving us this external, like, but feedback for the nervous system, okay? So just to be clear, we have internal feedback to the nervous system, and that's our emotions, and then we have this external feedback that we're getting through our five senses in our environment. And both of these things are impacting our nervous system. So if our nervous system is our inner alchemist, if our nervous system is the part of us that is creating more of what we want, then how do we negotiate the feelings we're feeling and what we're observing? Because here's the problem. We observe something in our environment and we make a conclusion. Okay? And those are the conclusions that are, are mostly held in the subconscious mind from our first seven years. Okay, so what do you need to know? You, we want to be aware of our feelings because that is the inner feedback we're giving our nervous system. And you want to be aware of, one, what's going on in your environment, but also how you're interpreting your environment into meaning. And this is one reason why it is so important that we orient the space of our home in a way that soothes the nervous system, in a way that empowers and inspires the nervous system. Okay, so I want you to think of your nervous system sort of as Oz behind the curtain, but not the imposter Oz. This is like, it's, it's, it's like your, your superpower is your nervous system. But right now our nervous system has been run a little bit haphazardly and inadvertently. And now we want to bring our awareness to, okay, what are the two things that are steering my nervous system and what direction are they taking me in? And it's one 
our feelings, our emotions. And this is why it's so important that we get clear about our desire because our desire is like the band leader for our emotions and our feelings. So if we can tap into our desire and that deeper passion and just know that we are going after it, then that gives us like our touchstone. That is like our, our anchor man. That gives us something to hold on to so that when things get a little bit wobbly, we are holding on tight because because we know this vision is going to happen, okay? And the other thing is, is we need our environment and the only environment that we basically have control of is the environment of our home. Everything else is sort of, you know, we have no idea what's going on out there. And the more crazy it is out there, the more important it is our home and our mind, our inner landscape are supporting what we want, what we need. So, this is why I created the reset program and the certification program because it is vitally important that the internal environment of our mind and body are in cooperation with our environment. So when our internal environment of our mind and body are in alignment with what we want and when our home it's backing up those values and those desires and those intentions, that's when things happen. Like everyone who's gone through my reset program and my certification program, they end up like, it's like, it's like magic. Like when you align what you want within your mind and in your home and it backs you up, that's when magic starts to happen. That's when clarity starts to happen. That's when inspiration starts to happen. But even if you don't, you know, do the reset program, if you don't do certification, just know that your nervous system is like square one. Like everything that is happening has to do with our nervous system. And the two ways that we can support our nervous system and move us closer to what we want is recognize your emotions are the input for the direction of your nervous system and your environment is input for the direction of the nervous system. And so if we can orient the inner landscape of what's going on in your mind, and if we can orient the environment of your home, so both your home and your mind are on the same team, which is moving you toward your deeper desires, like there's no stopping you. Like we all want an inspired and empowered life. Start with your awareness that your nervous system is your inner alchemist. Your nervous system is getting feedback from one, the internal environment of you, and that's your emotions and your feelings, and your nervous system is getting input from your environment. And the primary environment that we have control over is the environment of our home. And the next thing we want to do is we want to get really curious about what's the relationship between what's going on in each room in my home and how is that relating to specific areas of my life and how is that relating to the inner landscape of my mind. All of this is like this big beautiful soup and we want to get clear about what's going on up here. How is it relating to my life? What's going on out in my life? How is it relating to my home? And how in the heck can my home support me so that I can create more of what I want? If you're interested in learning more, I recommend you type reset in the comments below, which will get you an insane discount on my reset program, but it'll also get you the free Power of Home and Mind Masterclass. So type reset in the comments and I will give you, uh, it's like over 50% off my reset program. And um, here's a question. Hold on one sec. Okay. I'm in the last month's experience heightened nervous system reaction to living nomadically. And I have a feeling that this has to do with a lack of base. Is this explored in the program? That's a really good question. So we talk about, so 
there are uh, weekly calls. We get on weekly calls. And so one of my recent graduates, this is um, her area of focus is because she has a nomadic lifestyle and a lot of people do right now. And so what I'll tell you is, is that yes, it is covered and the program is constantly evolving. And so every single semester we're adding, I'm adding more and more material to it. And it's year, it's lifelong access. And so we're at constantly adding new material to it. And for people who are in a nomadic lifestyle, it's actually a really beautiful thing because when we live, when we occupy one space, that space, if we're not aware of it, it can keep us in a container, right? So our environment is keeping us in our subconscious mind in a perpetual feedback loop of experience and routines and patterns. And what I have found is that people that have a more nomadic lifestyle where they don't have stability with their, with a consistent home, they are given an opportunity to expand more with their internal home. And so when we don't have, I'll call it the luxury of stability in our home, we find stability in other places. And typically that's our inner home. And there are things that you can do and that you can implement when you're in this nomadic lifestyle and moving from place to place. And so, yes, we do get into that in the program and with the the one-on-one -on -one connections or the group, the group calls that happen every week, we dive into lots of different topics. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps and feel free to, to rephrase or ask, a, ask another question. Um, so yes, so the reset program is level one of certification. So the reset program is basically you take it at your own pace, but it's five to 12 weeks. You can take, you can take 12 months if you want. It's a room by room guide, but it's highly curated. And so I, we access the different areas of the mind as we're accessing different rooms in the home and the interconnectedness of what's going on with certain core belief systems and how it shows up in our home and then how we can curate that space so that we remedy whatever is showing up in our life. And so the reset is for anyone who wants to tap into that power of their environment and their mind and align it with their desires. And your life cannot not change. Like once you open up this level of awareness within your mind and your environment, like life automatically starts changing um, immediately and with, with lasting change because what's happening is your awareness has changed. And so it's sort of like traveling. Like if you go to a country and you don't know the language, but then you come back a couple years later and you know the language, your experience forever change. And that's what this language of home is. It's neurospatial linguistics. So, the, the reset is level one of certification because I want whoever goes through certification to experience for themselves how this impacts their life um, on very real levels. And then level two is when we go deeper into the science and the, the human flourishing component and then how we curate the spaces to support people where they are. Um, and then level three is where you get the entire how to practice and um, six months of mentorship. So if you're interested in the school, you can type school and I'll send you the link to that program. And if you want to learn more about this home mind desire connection, type reset and I will send you um, a really amazing discount over 50% and you'll get my free power of home and mind masterclass. Um, does anyone have any questions today? I really just wanted to bring home this point of the nervous system and how there is a connection between our emotions and our nervous system and our environment and our nervous system. And those are the two ways that we impact 
the experience of the nervous system. It's through our feelings is one area of input and then through our five senses and what's going on in our environment. And so we want to make sure that these two areas are communicating what we want to the nervous system because our nervous system is like our inner alchemist. And so if our inner alchemist is getting confusing messages like, oh, this is what I want, but I don't think I can have it because look at what's going on in my life right now. So that must mean I can't have what I want. Then the alchemist is like getting mixed signals. And so ideally, our job is convincing the nervous system that what we want is real and what we want is true. And we do this with our emotion and we back it up with the space of our home. And that's what the reset program and that's what neurodesign is all about. It's bridging this gap between our environment and our deeper desires, our consciousness and what's going on in our environment. And all of this at the core is influencing our nervous system. Okay. So, um, I think that's going to be it today, unless anyone has any questions. So just bring your awareness to this connection between your emotions, your environment, and your nervous system. And our nervous system receives its input internally from our emotions and externally from our environment. And those are the two things that we can engage and tap into so that we can harness this power of our nervous system to create more of what we want. Okay. Thank you all for being here and we will see you tomorrow. I have no idea what we're going to talk about tomorrow, but I'll have it up in the morning. And as always, thanks for being here. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.